Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. In some church bulletins, at the very top, it will offer the, enti- the title pastor and then give the person's name. Then it will say the title ministers and then say something like all 362 members. You see, we are all ministers called to respond to the needs of those around us. So with that in mind, I shared with my Sunday school class recently that ministry happens in the interruptions. In other words, serving one's neighbors doesn't happen on a schedule or when it's convenient or even when you planned for it. Needs happen when they happen. And in love, we are called to respond there and then. That has a lot to do with Jesus on vacation. That's our topic this week. We are looking at times in the Gospels when Jesus attempted to take some time off from all the demands of the crowds. There are numerous times in the Gospels when Jesus goes off alone to pray. In fact, the number of times Jesus does that is a bit staggering. Time spent in prayer and renewal seems to have been significant to Jesus, and he did it so often, in fact, that it impressed the gospel writers enough to report it. But those are a bit different from time away, like a vacation, and our Bible story today was an honest attempt by Jesus to take what seems to be a real vacation. But like I said, ministry happens in the interruptions. It did for Jesus, too. In Mark 7, we read, From there he set out and went away to the region of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know he was there, yet he could not escape notice. But a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him, and she came and bowed down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile of Syrophoenician origin. She begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, For saying that you may go. The demon has left your daughter. So she went home, found the child lying on the bed, and the demon gone. Now you may never have thought about this as Jesus going on a vacation, but let me flesh out some details for you. First, he went to the region of Tyre. This is outside of Israel, right along the coast of what is uh, southern Lebanon today. To put it in terms we might understand easily, Jesus and his disciples paid a visit to the beach. Jesus also spent time in the mountains, but here it seems clear they went to the beach on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea. Clue number one, that it was a vacation. Clue number two is the line that he didn't want anyone to know he was there. That sounds like a vacation to me, like an attempt to get away from his everyday demands from the crowds. It's pretty easy to reach the conclusion that Jesus was attempting a vacation here. But... Word about Jesus traveled, and a woman of the region heard about Jesus and begged him to cast a demon out of her daughter. The problem was that she was a Gentile, and according to Jewish tradition, Jews were to have nothing to do with Gentiles. Even more, gods were supposed to have power only over their own land. So to all expectations, Jesus shouldn't do anything for her and shouldn't be able to do anything for her since they were out of Israel. That's when the exchange about dogs happens. Dogs is a derogatory term that Gentiles might have expected from Jews, but I envision Jesus saying it with a smile, sensing where this woman would take it. And when she answered about the scraps from the table, I envision Jesus laughing and saying, Great answer! I do have a scrap of grace for you. 
your daughter is healed. So there Jesus was on vacation, and an interruption happened that led to ministry, that led to compassion and healing, that led to grace and love. Those should be our responses, no matter when they are asked of us. The suggestion for our own vacations by Pastor Ethan Lumen is that our, on our vacations, we often plan some... Let's try that sentence again. The suggestion for our own vacations by Pastor Ethan Lumen is that on our vacations, we plan in some time for service for others. When we are on vacation, he suggests, we search the internet for restaurants or other activities. Why not search for food pantries or homeless shelters or animal shelters or volunteer activities as well? Take a morning, get the whole family together, and go together to serve others. Imagine what doing that might teach your children or your grandchildren about what's important in life. Imagine the closeness and bonding your family would experience this way. Dare to give it a try. Interrupt your vacation with ministry. I'm betting it will be the best vacation of all. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.